Okay, so what got me into it seems an insult to say the work that I'm that I'm doing now. Eighteen years ago, I'm a multi-millionaire living in a 35-room mansion, 70 acres of land. I've got a fleet of Ferraris. Why am I doing this? Because for one reason, I want to be successful. And, and my script at that time was saying to me, well, if I've got a lot of stuff, then I'll be successful, like a lot of people. I not achieved this, and I didn't feel that I was successful. Um, certainly didn't think that I was there. And uh, unfortunately, there was a, a traumatic divorce, and shortly after that, the recession in the UK kicked in. And the first thing to be hit was property. Well, what was my company? Um, that got me the fortune, it was a property company. And virtually overnight I was wiped out. I went from being a millionaire in a mansion to a bankrupt in a bed set. Uh, through the divorce I'd lost my family, I lost my home, I lost my, my job, I lost all the financial security that I'd got. But the worst thing that I lost in it all was myself. It's the worst thing that anyone can lose. And I found myself on a place called Rock Bottom. What's Rock Bottom? Rock bottom is when the light at the end of the tunnel goes out. And I actually decided to take my own life. I'd planned it all, the letters I'd write to my three sons. And I was just at this point where it was only a matter of time, just a matter of days before I took my own life. And I overheard a conversation where someone said, Oh Paul, he'll get there one day. I thought, there? There? How do you know when you're there? That's right, I, I wanted to get there. I'd had the sort of wealth that a lot of people dream of, the cars, the house, I'd got children, friends, family, I'd got my health. But I never once thought that I was there, you know what I mean? I was, I was nearly there, I was almost there. Just sort this deal out, just sort that out, then I'll be there. And now I've got someone in front of me reminding me about, where's there? And I thought, I've never been there. Then I realised that I've never met anyone in my whole life that came up to me and said, hey, I'm there. So was it a waste of time? What's the point of our existence? So I actually went in search of there and I found it. Alone, terrified and broke on rock bottom, I discovered where there was. You see, instead of searching out there, I searched in here. And I realised the only reason that we ever do anything, the bottom line, is a feeling. We want to feel good, we want to feel safe and secure, we want to feel significant, we want to feel love, we want to feel value. They're all feelings. And alone, and, and, and on my own, and, and, and just at rock bottom, I realised that these feelings could only ever come from one place. They could only ever come from me. In other words, any feeling that I ever wanted was already inside me. And it's the same with you now. Any feeling that you can imagine is inside you now, just waiting to come out. A lot of the pain that we feel in life, I swear, is the pain of these feelings trying to escape. But we keep them down and say, no, I can't have them yet because of my circumstances. And what happened to me back then, 18 years ago, was I transcended reason. Everything that was in my script at, at that time, and if you haven't heard about the script, you've got to look through and find one of our other movies. My script was saying to me that you can't possibly access those feelings. You've got no money, no job, you've got no partner. And I transcended reason. And I said, I am there. I'm there because, yes, of course there was things on the outside that I wanted to resolve. My financial situation, my relationship. There's lots of things on the outside that I wanted to resolve. But what I discovered, any feeling that I wanted was already inside me. In other words, for me, being there was just realising that I was emotionally complete. The bottom line, the end result to everything that I had ever wanted and ever will want was already inside me. No, it isn't always a question where we can easily access those feelings, or it wasn't for me back then, but at least I knew that I was complete. And that for me is being what there is. There is realising, just to sum it up, the only reason you'll ever do anything is for a feeling. Those feelings are inside you now. And they're yours. You are emotionally complete.